Rigo Blankenship sends it deep. And it's going to go through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Third down and three and a half to start on this opening drive for the Jackets. Seam route and a miscommunication. Tyler Davis turned left. And James Graham threw the ball right. Yes, wrong. Presley Harvin, he can change field position, that's for sure. Did not connect with this one well, though. And a sliding catch made by Dominic Blaylock to preserve a lot of field position. Third down at 10. Three-man rush. LeFron has time. Steps up, avoids a sack. Fires one. It's also broken up. Demetrius Robertson was the intended receiver. Lamarian Brown, a wide receiver, now in the backfield. Three on the play clock. Graham to Brown. Clock. Now they say incomplete. Had it in his hands right in front of his own bench, but it was knocked away with Tay Crowder there in coverage. Three and outs the last 37 drives for Georgia Tech. Harvin, and this time he gets into one. Blaylock from his own 35. Makes a man miss. Blaylock with speed. Great return for Georgia. They'll start at the Georgia Tech 36 yard line. Chance for Georgia Tech to maybe get off the field. With great field position for the dogs. Fromm under pressure. Extending the play. Short hops one to the sideline. Goes down. First one he misses. This last one he misses on a scramble. A shade under 50. And as smooth as could be. Blankenship knocks it through. Jordan Mason. Lost a yard. Monty Rice got there first. Malik Herring came in to finish him off. That's Amari and Brown in motion. Graham, long throw, incomplete. Short hop didn't know where near Brown, and it's another Tech three and out. Trey Swift alone set back on second and six. Swift finds a cutback lane, and he gets loose. Across the 50. Easily picking up the opening first down. Show some stuff on tape that they play into the eye with the minds of LSU that they can counter with next week. Harriet steamrolls for a first down. Instead, it's a back shoulder throw down the sideline. Fromm drops it in beautifully. Tyler Simmons to the two-yard line, 25-yard game. Tom Bunch, a left-hand stab, get the defensive back off him. Late hands. Great throw. The dogs play with tempo. Arian up the middle at the goal line, reaches the ball out, and he's in for the touchdown. The dogs show blitz. They do rush four. Graham out of the pocket. Breaks a tackle and lost the ball. Well, one way or the other, it's either Georgia ending up with a fumble recovery inside the 30-yard line, or they're about to get the ball back with yet another Georgia Tech punt. And it is a recovery by the Ramblin' Wreck. James Graham decides to scramble. The count just swipes at it with his right hand. Showed pressure one side, brought it with the count from the other. Their catch made by Blaylock. Swift, no one to contain the outside. There goes Swift. You can see that coming from a mile away. There's just nobody on the near side of the field. Screen, James Cook. Gets a couple of blocks, gets a first down, and gets some more. Strong, good out in space, can be part of the pass protection, good pass receivers. Jet sweep, Tyler Simmons gets down the sideline. He's got another first down. From takes a shot for the end zone, and it's an easy pitch and catch touchdown to Charlie Warner. Watch Warner just up the scene, get to the top of the numbers, and let the ball from the quarterback lead you. Presented that jersey to Adams' family who described the moment as heartwarming. And Brandon Adams' entire family here as Allison said on what would have been his senior day. It's Kiaris Jackson. Fromm looks the other way instead. Long throw to the sideline. Incomplete. Eli Wolf, the tight end, laid out. Couldn't haul it in. And it will be a three and out for the dogs. EHW oh, yeah. oh, you two, do know what that means. Two non-heaven. Lift Georgia. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. When they win this game, 
And their defense forces another three and out as Harvin boots it away. Dropped on by Blaylock. And it's still loose. And it looks like Georgia Tech gets it. A special teams mistake by Georgia Tech. This goes right through the elbows. Watch Kosey come flying right there. For the third down and three as they mark him down at the 10. Keeper. Graham. And it looks like he's got the first down. It'll be first and goal at the six as finally Georgia Tech is able to move the chains. Graham to the pylon. Tyler Davis. Touchdown. third down and then you find Tyler Davis for a touchdown. The Yellow Jackets on the board at home in the rivalry game. Dominic Blaylock gave Georgia Tech a chance and now they want to steal a possession with a surprise onside kick. There's a scramble for it. They've got it. Kick. Prather Hudson tries to recover it. Hit. And then the recovery by Georgia Tech. Jeff Collins said he was going to be aggressive. They're going to do some unique things to try and steal some stuff. No, not anymore. They actually had to sign that they would only eat regular omelet. Well, there's quarterback run, and it's going nowhere. Great job by the Georgia defense to deal with the surprise onside kick and sudden change. Play a little bit of a read quarters. Work the middle of the field if you're Jake Fromm. Fromm out of the pocket. He'll run for it and spin for a first down. Gets walloped, but easily picks up a fresh set of downs hit by Demetrius Knight. Certainly would be a guy playing. Power toss to DeAndre Swift. Lost the football. It's knocked out. Georgia Tech thinks they have it. Quez Jackson caused the fumble. Who's got it at the bottom of the pile? Helmet right on the football. Quez Jackson, ball pops in the air. And then Justice Dingle right there waiting for that football. Put his helmet right on and off DeAndre Swift. All right, do something with it now if you're Georgia Tech. That's a first down carry for Mason. And he just moves the pile for about four yards. Tyler Davis in motion. They counter the other way with Mason. Jump cut inside the 20. Down in the red zone with a first down for Georgia Tech. For him and the shotgun on third down. Here comes a blitz. He's out of the pocket. He's going to tuck it under and run. Stiff arm. Now what do you do? Do you take the points and make it a one-score game? And they come away empty. Force Jake Brown to get through his zone look. Brown underneath. Harrion looking for the sticks. And with speed, he got there. First down, Georgia with just over two minutes to go in the half. You've got to trust him to go make that play. This has been Harrion's drive so far. And he's got another first down. And at least for one play, snap the football here on first and ten. Zamir White breaks free. Pops out of the pile and picks up 14. And, and, and you can hear the Zeus in the background for Samir White. Veteran quarterback knows it. They're going to run it again. And this time it's read by Georgia Tech. David Curry knifes through to meet Samir White behind the line. Right guard goes to right. The right guard, K. Mays, thought they were running left. And that's why Curry became unblocked. But Bob, to your, like, they, they should have called the timeout by now. Yeah, a lot of times coming yeah. off the clock, down inside of 40 seconds to go. Be alert for DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. Swift bounces outside, turns the corner, and has the first down. And DeAndre Swift is on that list. From sacked back to the 40. Justice Dingle, another big play for Georgia defensively. Ron instead is going to sprint right, and I'm not sure if that was a play just designed to eat up a few more seconds to make sure that the field goal is the final play of the half, but that's what they're going to play for.
The announcer jinx. Got numbers up running to the left. Right up the middle, it's Swift. Easily picking up a first down. Because of those miscues. Pickens didn't get his head around. Flag out. Trey Swilling. And that time flagged. So Georgia in the red zone. They go that way again. Climb the ladder, Tyler Simmons. Right over the top of Trey Swilling for the touchdown. Watch Simmons, okay. Stack the receiver, then squeeze the DB. And that allows that space for Jake Fromm. Make a case for LSU or Ohio State being there. Screen pass, Malachi Carter. Well designed for Georgia Tech to midfield. That's the kind of play they needed trying to get back in the game. J.R. Reed brings him down after a 23-yard game. Got to get set. Play clock at two. Did he get set? I'm not sure. Out of trouble is Graham. And he's going to throw it away. It's a bunch of games for lines. I think 13 touchdowns, 13 of them to Calvin. So. <laughs> Low throw. Dominic Blaylock. He's got a famous father of his own. He's the son of Mookie. Here comes a blitz. From beats it. Eli Wolf breaks a tackle. Eli Wolf looking for the pylon. Dragged down inside the 10. First and goal, Georgia at the 8. 46 yards for Eli Wolf. So much talent, strength, and size up front. From floats one back of the end zone for Pickens incomplete. There's the flag. Direct snap to DeAndre Swift. Lost the ball. Georgia Tech's got it back. Trey Swilling on the second fumble of the day for DeAndre Swift. And now Swift is down. And he really looks hurt. What I don't like, though, why is the ball in your right arm? All the defenders are coming from your right. Keep it in your left arm. You can use the right arm to stiff arm Curry there. He's a great back. James Graham will hand one off to Mason. And he has no chance to get anywhere near the first down line of the game. He barely got back within a yard of the line of scrimmage. Forward progress was stopped well outside the end zone. Samir White in a tailback with DeAndre Swift hurt on the sideline. Cook in motion. Fraun looks that way and instead takes a shot to Pickens. Wide open for a walk-in touchdown. Corner. Seeing that bubble motion come. Anticipation. It's a nice job by Pickens of throwing that hand up. His run game's got no chance against that defensive front. Jordan Mason shut down behind the line again. Sprint out for Graham. To the sideline. Malachi Carter had it go right through his hands. James Graham couldn't throw the kind of placement that he wanted to Malachi Carter. Much better kick this time for Presley Harvin. Blaylock to midfield. Still on his feet. All the way down inside the 35 of Georgia Tech. A 31-yard punt return for Dominic Blaylock. Screen pass, James Cook. Dalvin's little brother weaving his way for a first down into the red zone. Swift is healthy, both of them at the same time that were stressed defenses. Tyler Simmons on the end around. Little high step down the sideline. Georgia is back inside the 10-yard line once again, first and goal. From floats one. Perfectly timed for Blaylock for the touchdown. All right, let's look at the touchdown. It's a great job of Fromm getting through some reads and again, finding the back of that end zone right there and a nice touch ball to Blaylock. That's the Ray Lewis Ravens. I mean, that's that's the 46 defense. That's any great Alabama defense you've ever heard of. This, to, a, to go through an entire season. I played this style of football 
and win with this style of football because one unit is absolutely elite. That was an elite punt from Presley Harvin. 57 yards, no return opportunity. Jake Brom's day is done. Stetson Bennett in a quarterback. It's Amir White. Nashes his way for a first down behind that offensive line for the Dogs. That continues to change the line of scrimmage. They shut down Taylor and the run game for Wisconsin. Yeah, if Minnesota's defense kind of just plays good, they don't have to play great. As Cook picks up a first down. They, they don't have to play great, but play good against Jonathan Taylor and doesn't allow just Wisconsin just flat out own the football game. Cook turns the corner. Picks up the first down, and that should take us to the end of the third quarter. Some of the formations or, or ways they've used number four today. Stenson Bennett with a chance to put one in the air. Sidearms won easily for a first down. Landers knocked out of bounds, just shy of the 15-yard line. Game of 26. Shut down the receivers in your pass game. If you run 250 and only score 28, I think that's our best chance to win the football game. Sometimes when the second and third stringers are in, you get a broken play. The route concept the right way. You know, there's this slot down here. Can you guys work your combo the right way that we want you to? And it looks that way. And then lob one towards the end zone for Blaylock. He draws the penalty flags. The pistol formation behind Bennett on first and goal. McIntosh at the goal line. And he will add to the Georgia total. Another touchdown and another fight after the play was over. And this time the officials jump in as quickly as possible. Not a ton of guys as early draft picks for Michigan, right? Devin Bush this past year. He'll give him a chance to get some game action against Georgia. And now heaving it to the sideline. That might be intentional grounding. And this punt for Harvin will be his 12th. And that ties the most punts ever in a game for Georgia Tech. And Blaylock with the fair catch. Now, why did Georgia call a timeout? Third down and two. Quick hitter out on the edge. And unable to get the first down. A good Georgia defense. He's a Georgia State Offensive Player of the Year. And here he pays the price. It's walloped at about the three-yard line. This will set a new record for Georgia Tech for most punts in a game. The 13th punt. Fair catch made by Blaylock. He did it the game, was done for the day with a few possessions to go. And Kenny McIntosh brought behind the line. Although for, Dan, for all of the positives for Georgia, there were some negatives early on that at least caused some concern heading towards the SEC title game. Good to see Camarda shake off the ankle injury and get away a good punt that's fumbled at the goal line in the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. Trying to go make that catch on the punt return. Amari and Brown fumbles it into the end zone. Minus Griffin. Gets tripped up. Or he might have had a lane all the way to the end zone. I'm, I don't think you can be that confident, and it's not the confidence that Jake Fromm has in itself. I don't think there's there's a ton of confidence in the guys around him. Hands up, maybe tip a couple balls and let that dominant defense get some turnovers for their offense to steal some possessions. Well, that defense makes one last tackle at the line of... The final score from Atlanta, 52-7, to Georgia.